my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about Clicky course and what else you can do with it what are the things you can do with Clicky course that have not as much to do with actual courses because it is a whole course hosting platform the last few days I've been talking about different things you can do with Clicky course and today we're going to talk about stuff that isn't really courses although the course income secrets does talk about all the different things that you need in your world to generate income right you can't it's not you can't just create a course and then all of a sudden you're going to get sales right there's a whole bunch of other things you got to do to make it happen in the social media world and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets in case you didn't know Click eCourse is a platform to host courses on right so you can host courses on there you can sell the courses you can uh, promote it uh promote the link to the course right have people go to the site you can even make commissions anyways we'll talk about all those other things but you can have a course with modules a course with just video lessons the basics of a course more complicated courses and we also you can also do other things like a couple of days ago I started talking about the top five reasons why you would use Click eCourse over other platforms I showed you how easy it is to create a course I showed you um what did I show you let me just take a look here I've got the so I showed you how it's easy and free to set up an account for you and your students I showed you how easy it is to create a video course I also showed, showed you how you can earn commission uh, how you can offer commission coupons and deals to your course to help sell it and today we're going to talk about other things you can do on Click eCourse what else can you do on Click eCourse that doesn't seem related but it is kind of related and I'll probably I'll explain a little bit about what I mean by that but we're going to get into that and before we do that I just want to make sure if you're listening to the audio of this you really want to make sure you go check out cis337.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing the screen and I will be showing things that you can't see obviously when you're just listening right so that's uh, with that being said let's uh, get to the screen and let me show you what I'm what I mean by things you can do with clicky course that aren't necessarily course uh, specific or at least don't seem like they're course related when you first look at it all right so first of all when you go to clicky course you're going to see a page like this right you go to clickecourse.com let's put the link up here clickecourse.com you're going to see this page right it'll say welcome to Click eCourse talks about what you can do as a marketer as a teacher as a student right um and just kind of an about page of what it is what you can do on it sell your own courses you take a course in an easy to navigate environment with precise bookmarking across multiple devices uh, you can market your course uh, to learn to earn substantial residual income by referring others to the platform anyways there's all sorts of different things but it talks about the site itself right here so what do I mean when I say you can do more with Click eCourse than other sites so if you click on the more right here you're going to see we talk about an affiliate program we talk about WordPress talk about syndication there's other features that are hidden because they're still in development but you can access them if you want early access to them uh and I'll talk about some of those too but let's just first talk about the blogging so you can blog you can have your own blog right in the Click eCourse platform and you can even have a blog for the free account if you want at least right now you can um, that might change in the future but for now you can get a WordPress blog right in the account without even having to pay anything you can start free just to kind of learn how it works and all that right so if I click on WordPress right here it will ask, it will give me a little bit blurb about WordPress what it is and uh, the kinds of things you can do with WordPress right WordPress is a platform that's in, in, you know with over 55,000 plugins it's it's 30 38 percent of the web uses WordPress right so that's a lot of people using WordPress and it's just a feature or a a, a bonus if you will on Click eCourse right you can just 
click a button and you get your uh blog let me just show you how that works let's get the link uh this uh, whoops <laughs> not the screen take the link out of there there we go okay so if you go to click ecourse and then you click on wordpress you're going to see this right but before you can use it you got to create an account right so let's just create a free account and you can register with Facebook just click on this it'll continue with Facebook it'll ask you that you're okay yes I'm happy with that don't allow access activating the account then the account is registered right so now you will now you've got an you're you're registered and you have an account and you can just go on account slash blog down here and then it'll just show you the WordPress blog creation right here all you got to do is you just got to put in whatever title you want on your blog you want to give it a name here you could say something other than that but let's leave it like that for now your email is going to be the email that you're logging on the site the admin user is what you're going to use because you know word the wordpress is not part of click ecourse it's a, se a separate thing that's 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 tied to the to the to the framework to the platform but it's not it's not the same login it's a totally different database totally different server totally different things so that's why you need a separate user so you're going to need an admin user and an admin, an admin password right so I'm just going to put a default password here then you just click on create to activate it so that's the first thing you that's you do that only once right it'll activate a wordpress um domain a wordpress server for you a wordpress database a wordpress um UI so you can go in there and create some blogs now this is WordPress so obviously you got to learn you got you're gonna have to learn how to use WordPress it's not part of Click eCourse like I said it's a separate thing it's WordPress you can learn how to use WordPress by just googling it there's a ton of training we also have training on Click eCourse as well but once it's created you'll see right here it says you've got one post that's just the default this is your URL if you want to send people to the blog to your blog you would say this obviously user 225 is just the default because I created it right here but normally you would have your um you would put another user there right like Bob right this 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 is Bob this is a Bob <laughs> Bob account my Facebook my Facebook login is Bob webinar so I would probably rename that to Bob so that people know blog clickycourse.com slash Bob if you ever want to have your own domain like you know bob.com blog.bob or something right a domain of your own you have to go get a domain and then you have to tie them together and we can show you how to do that but basically that's uh, available at the um, on the on the you have to upgrade your plan for that but you can click on here to find out about it so over here we can just say I want to uh, manage access my blog or manage my blog if I access the blog that shows me this page right here right if I just click on that it'll just load up the blog the way it looks right now which is nothing it just says Bob webinars blog hello world welcome to WordPress right it's just the default and if I go back here and I say manage your blog now it gives me access to the blog I gotta log in in here and then I just log in here and there you go so now I have this um I have the back end right that's just basically the default I'm gonna update the the WordPress it's all just automatic update now right it's this is just WordPress this is a WordPress page it's a WordPress back end it's a WordPress update I'm updating WordPress to 561 right now that's just how it works with WordPress right and that's as simple as that I can go look at the plugins too which plugins I have uh let's um, update this one too so the default plugins that are installed are these ones right so that's all you get right so if I go here I want to create a new post well it's just a simple going to the post and say add new posts and I'm just going to put a new post here I'm going to say I'm going to say post number I'm just going to close this I'm going to say post two welcome to my second second post right so whoops second welcome to my second post I'm just going to say publish obviously I would want to do more things on there but I'm just going to do that and if I go back to the blog right here where it says hello world I'm reload it now I'm going to show me that I have post two right so it's as simple as that to add posts to your blog obviously there's uh, themes there's all sorts of different things like if I go back to the to this um, dashboard I can actually go in here appearance themes 
I can change the theme to another theme let's just add a new theme and I'm going to go to the popular ones and let's just say I want to use uh, this theme here so let's just install this theme and uh, and live and activate it so now what that does is it changes my blog to this theme so if I go back here and I reload this the site is completely different now right it's a white background it's little boxes with the different blog posts right uh, I can change the theme to something else too if I go back to here I can add another theme let's just say I don't know what's a what's a good theme let's look let, let's install this one wildlife wildlife theme right there's just uh, activate this one too and now I've got this different theme which is now like this right so that's the thing so that's why wordpress is so cool because it's really easy to just change the look and feel by just changing the theme and then once you've got a theme you like you just keep adding posts and what I do is I add posts every day now why does that have anything to do with course creation with course income well one of the things is when you're generate when you're trying to build an income online and if you're using digital courses one of the most important things is to build an audience you got to grow your audience so you can't have an audience without uh, content so you got to be creating content now you could just do courses and try to get people to the courses but that is a lot of work because you know let's face it your courses aren't they're not changing every day so you would you'd be what sending people a, li a link to go look at the same thing every single day that wouldn't work that great so that's why when you create blogs you create blogs around your topic you create blogs about stuff that your audience is interested in the people that you think will buy your course what do they like and you create blogs around that right you create blogs around that and that and the blogs the blog post is what you share right every single maybe you do one every day even right like I do one every day so you can actually share the blog post every single day to grow your people's interest or knowledge of you and then when you have a course to sell you can you already have an audience right people already interested in you and what you do and and they'll be interested in in buying from you right that's uh that's that's why you would have a blog and plus the cool thing about a blog is that it basically is yours right you own it nobody's gonna take it away from you you can even do a backup of it all and take it all out and save it on your computer so that you know god forbid if Click eCourse ever went away or anything happened to it you could always move it to someplace else you'd have a backup right um so even though Click eCourse is where you're hosting it you would still be able to save it so you can host it anywhere else you don't have to keep hosting it on click eCourse too if you find that that you've got another site that might uh, be more uh, give you better performance or you have a reason to move it or whatever you can just do a backup and restore it over there right it's very simple very complete so that's one of the reasons why you want to have a blog you want to create content regularly now I'm just going to delete it because I don't want to keep that on the server and that's the cool thing about the blog platform is if you're let's say you're importing data from some other site and you're doing it on on Click eCourse and you're like oh the theme isn't exactly what I wanted uh and and you make changes you try different things and all of a sudden you get it in a state that's kind of messed up but isn't the same as your original site well you can just delete the blog site recreate it and then re-import right so if you're importing from another site for example right if you've been doing wordpress for a while and you just you're actually wanting to move it to click eCourse that's one of the cool things about it it's really like you said like you saw it just takes a minute to create your site and then start uh, importing stuff to it right all right so that's that's num that's one of the extra things you can do on click eCourse. now the other thing if I go to more again here there's also syndication what is syndication that's a syndication engine the engine to syndicate your content everywhere right so basically what what this engine does is it takes so you can record a video and then from that video you can generate all the content you need to to, to post everywhere you see right here that we're um the way that I use the engine and you don't have to use it this way you can you don't have to post to Instagram right you don't have to to post to LinkedIn you can choose whatever you can post to other platforms too that I don't post to right you just choose the content that it generates that it outputs but it starts from one piece of content so I'm doing a video every day right 
and this video that I do every day allows me to share everywhere but the thing is that it would take so long to create the different pieces of content to create the to create all the all the videos and all the audios and all the images and everything else from the video that I'm recording and doing it all manually the engine the syndication engine what it does is it lets you create all that automatically right it just you just create the one video every day you write a blog post that's what I do I create a video every day I write a blog post and then that generates me an, an mp4 video and a text file right from there I pass it through the syndication engine right here and then it spits out all these different things that I can use to share to all these different platforms and that's kind of how that works so that's the syndication engine the way the syndication engine works is you go to account syndicate and then oh it says your account does not have syndication enabled so this is a feature still in beta you got to request access by entering a support ticket so what we're going to do is we're going to do that right now I'm going to say please give me access to syndication engine right I'm going to do that I'm going to submit a new ticket and now that's going to be sent off to the admin now I'm I'm the admin <laughs> so I'll go uh, look at it I've got it right over here uh right here so if I look at my notifications I get a new notification request syndication access by Bob webinar I'm just going to go in there I'm going to say okay I'm going to give him access so I got to go into admin and let's um let's go back to the webcam because there's some sensitive stuff maybe we don't want to show you there so I'm just going to go in here I'm going to update the users I'm going to go find Bob and I'm going to give him the access to the syndication engine all right so just give me a second here it's loading up um and he's over here 225 right that's the one here so I'm just going to give him access to the syndication engine I'm also going to give him access to other things because I want to show you other things that are going on oops okay oh actually I gotta give him uh, hold on I gotta upgrade him as well what is going on here this one <clears throat> okay so I've upgraded him as well to be, to show you the different things you can do with the more advanced accounts so let's go back to the webcam okay so there we go we got the upgraded account here all right so now if I look at the notifications you can see that it says that my plan has been upgraded and enabled access to group syndicating features all right so clear that and then uh normally I would have replied to the ticket as well so to let the person know that they got the access but if I go now to if I reload the page oh I don't want to do that let's go here reload the page and I go to let's go back to about okay under syndication if I go back to syn oh, not plans sorry under more there's groups now but I'll show you that in a second so under syndication now if I go back here I can actually go to whoops where is it under account syndicate and now I can create a syndication since syndication the way it works is you create a series first so there's nothing here I'm going to create a new series and oh I don't know what's going on with this oops that's not right there must be something wrong with the uh with the CSS maybe hmm. okay well anyways okay so um there you go okay so syndication I'm just going to call this um I don't know what what, are, what would I be talking about like say for example course income secrets right I have course income secrets I'm going to call this course creation secrets okay so next is this will be a series now I have a series the first thing it asks me is what are the what are the pieces of content that I want in there right 
so these are the different kinds of content that I want uh do I uh, well the default is this right it just creates all these different text outputs these image outputs uh the audio output these video outputs and the default I'll just leave it be at the default I'll say done so now I have a series I have one series you can have multiple series if you want there's no limit to the number of series but depending on your plan there's a certain number of syndications you can do or not because I upgraded to the extreme plan it gives me 120 but if I if I go let's go back to the plans kind of show you syndication down here where's the syndication syndicate there we're, uh, syndication syndication right here how many syndication projects can you have so this is on the free account it's one on the second on the ten dollar a month account is four twelve you know 75 150 120 right so that's just how many videos you can specify as the syndication uh source so you'd create one video a day while you would need to do probably uh 20 right if you do it every single day it'd be 30 you'd need at least 30 so you'd need at least a 75 a month account to get 35 but if you want to do two a day then you need more than that right if you want to do only one a week then you might be okay with the ten dollar a month one right because it gives you four a month right so how does that work so now if I go over here oh no let's oh right so if I go back I can actually go straight to the syndication by going on the profile here and saying syndication and then that takes me back to here I can select now the series I was on there's no syndication yet I just create new syndication I give it a title my first episode right because the idea is that you have a series just like a tv series and then you have episodes every day you have a different episode or every week or whatever it is right so this is episode number one and I'm going to give it a so the I and then now the url is where do you want people to go where do you want to send people to whenever they click your video or your image or your story or anything like that where is it that you're going to post the full video in the blog post so this will be your blog post so I'm going to say um bob bobwebinar.com right slash uh first episode right whatever the url is going to be in your blog right if I go in here and I create a blog uh let's just say this one here is post two this would be oh I deleted it that's why it's giving me an error <laughs> I deleted my blog right so that's why this is giving me an error but normally it would be this link here that would be the link you would put in here right your blog link now if you have your own domain then it would be you know blog whatever so it doesn't really matter the the, the link is where you want people to go to when they to see more because the idea with the syndication engine is it'll create a thumbnail it'll create a shorter video so you want to have something that says hey if you want to see the rest of this video you got to go here right and that's where you would post your full video right next is your YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo link so if I want to say for example let's use this Facebook uh, where's my <clears throat> like why is this not showing me all these pages I'm li I'm liking yeah that's fine you logged into click ecourse new post to see okay let's no these are not why are these all showing me as a okay so let's just go to this this one here which is a video whoops this one <clears throat> okay I'm just going to put a link here to a video which isn't correct so this video here uh, let's see uh that's interesting most popular uh how do I how do I get the link for this so I'm just wanted the link for it so if I do this oh actually it's up here so there's a link to the video it's up on the top there in your browser right if I see that link up here right uh so I take that link and then I go to Click eCourse and I put that here haven't done that in a while I always use YouTube but I, I'm curious to see if this will work properly uh it's going to it's supposed to download the video <coughs> and then put it on the site there you go 
so there's the video but this one is a four minute video so that's not going to work for the syndication engine you need to have a video that's probably 10 minutes or more so this will this is actually probably not a good a good example let's go and get the video from one of my from one of my episodes instead let's use say this one here get shareable link well actually I can't I can't remove it hmm. so I can do a new syndication and this is going to be uh post two uh blog, blog. okay let's just do that the, the the url doesn't matter in terms of it doesn't have to exist when you're doing this because it'll just be text inside of the rest I'm going to put the youtube video here <coughs> and that youtube video is more than 10 minutes so it'll allow us to do the rest and kind of show you how that works and that's a syndication that's the second thing you do there's other things you can do too like for example let's actually go here show you the feed so the other thing is the feed one of the things on the site is that it's got a feed you can see right here is mostly just me posting new um uh, new uh, courses right I can reload this oh there's no new items okay so the feed will be uh whatever is happening on the site that you have access to that you can see so that's why we're seeing these uh, but you can also see things like people uh, rating courses people um, commenting on courses on lessons and that kind of stuff all shows up in here people setting their profile picture those things are all part of the feed you can also do an update just like this right um, testing from cis all right this is a whoops this is say test post to test post to show how to use the news feed you can post text like this or add add images videos or other files so that others will be able to see and access them the feed the feed is public so anyone anyone might see it but it's not all automatic there is some randomness to the algorithm that decides that decides what what whoops what each user sees right so if I post something here that doesn't mean everybody's everybody that's on the site is going to see this it'll be based on who the uh, site is right so what is a feed post for there let's do that uh test post to see how this post from um let's just make sure I got it right there you go and then let's post this so now it's posted it shows up right here I can also do a post with an image I can go in here how does a post look with with an image so here's here's what it looks like with just one image right so if I choose an image in here I'm going to go find an image let's say oh look at that my resume <laughs> um so over here under let's just go and clicky course uh, what do I have in here there's a family picture let's put that there why not I post this so that's the that's my family picture 
and you see that that's what it looks like now on the feed you'll see something like this and I can add a comment that's my family Christmas Chris Christmas 2018 picture well, actually 2019 2019 right picture before COVID my four daughters my wife and my four grandkids four daughters as well as well as my older oldest man Jason there you go save that so that's a cut now that adds a comment to it right it says right here whoops uh, you can see right here the the actual comment I can tap it to edit it as you saw um and that's kind of how that's kind of how that works for comments so that's one of the things of the feed now let's go back to where we were a second ago we were looking at this we were uploading this now I have the video here I can say that I want a thumbnail at position 2345 I click on next and I can put this is the text to text to show in the posts and there would be normally more than that right so let's just say one two one three one four okay so I'll just do like that I just kind of will show you what that does now once I've gotten all the preparation done for the syndication I just click on generate assets and that just starts to generate the assets for that episode so you can generate assets for each episode and you can see right here if I refresh this some of these are ready some of these are processing see the trim two minute video the trim five minute video and then I have the podcast thumb the thumbnail let's look at the video thumb so when I click on this whoops it shows me the video thumbnail that it took at that position that I said I wanted it right uh and if I look at I can actually click on download you see it better shows you the whole thing right this is the just so happened to be right on the feed here that we were doing uh, we're doing this right now right now the other one that generates is a gif where's the gif right here and that's an image of me showing well I guess you can see it's like a it's like a short video right? it's at the gif a gif file so that is what the syndication lets you do now what else is there oh the other thing there is let's talk about groups so under groups you can actually create a group kind of like you do on Facebook let's just create a new group um plus group oh there was a new group there too if I go back to more groups the other way to create a new group is you click on new group right here but we'll just go plus group and we're just going to call this uh, make it active uh, let's call this test group this is a test testing groups just testing right so obviously you want to make the group something that's uh useful now the other thing you can do too is you can make you can make the group secret private or public so the difference is a secret group people can't even find it if they know the name they can't even find it they have to be invited a private group is you can find it but you can't see any of the posts in it or you can't see who's in the group and a public group is anybody can join it and anybody can find it anybody can see who's in the group and who, what what's been posted and that's the difference with the and then the url path is you can have a path to your group depending on whether it's in use or not <clears throat> and I'm just going to say testing save that and now I have a new group called testing right with a default cover photo if I go back to the list here I can see all the groups that are there there's two of them now right there's this one and this one it's a secret group um there's only one member right now but in here you can say okay I want to invite people let's say I list all 
and I want to invite Jean-Serge invite member right now and Jean-Serge is invited uh, who else I want to invite I can say Mindy right my wife there's no Mindy that's because the user has to have the group features enabled for them right uh list all so lots of these are test accounts anyways let's invite this this one whoops invite cis330 so now you can see that's how you invite people into your secret group and then they're going to get a notification if I go back to this one this is is that new I think it is let's go here and let's go to the clicky course and see if I got a notification whoops not this one this one that's my blog did I get a notification yes see you have been invited to join group testing groups by Bob webinar I can click on that it takes me to the group and I can see the group here and if I look at members uh, oh there's a yeah you can't I can't access the members because it's a secret group but if I go back to the about <coughs> I can see that I've been invited I'm going to say accept invite now I'm part of the group and I can see the members right um only the members that are there the other invites I can't see because they're not uh anyway so there's <laughs> so those are groups you can use groups and then you can post in the groups I can say hey I can say thanks 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 for thanks for allowing me to join this group look right looking forward to learning more so whatever the group is right the same thing the post you can post in a uh, post to the group you post that it's in the group now and if I go back to the other one here and I can look at the discussion now we can see that there's this this post from this from me right from well my other account um and I can say add a comment you are most welcome and then I save that now there's a comment on this and if I go back to the other one and I reload this now you can see there's a comment on it now right so that's kind of how the groups work so those are the things you can do those are extra things they're not just a course you can actually create a group for your course put all your students in there or invite them at least so that they have access to a community where you can where you can nurture them and you can uh, answer questions if they have questions and those kinds of things so you can tie all that into your course hosting you know uh, activities right so there's that there's there's other things that I don't have time I mean we're already 37 minutes in there's so much stuff but yeah so that's the things you can do on Click eCourse platform other than hosting courses and again if you have any questions go ahead and comment below comment on below the video comment below the blog post uh, and and let me know what you're uh, what you want to know more about and we'll and we'll reply maybe we'll do a blog post on it so until next time have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time